Thermal energy storage and high heat thermal management are exciting new areas of study in recent years. However, the exact properties of these materials, such as thermal conductivity, are, on the most part, relatively unknown. This was our task. This summer, we investigated the transient hot wire technique of determining thermal conductivity and applied current designs to work with electrically conductive samples at extremely high temperatures. The transient hot wire technique is a popular method for determining thermal conductivity. Though exact techniques vary, it fundamentally involves running current along a resistively thin wire surrounded by the material of interest. This wire heats up and transfers heat to the sample by conduction, which causes changes in the wire's temperature and thus its resistance. By measuring these changes over time, the sample's thermal conductivity can be calculated using a simplified mathematical model of heat transfer. Digging into current literature, we encountered a problem. Nobody's done exactly this before. While the transient hot wire method is popular and has a well-developed theory, the combination of extremely high temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius and an electrically conductive, water-reactive sample of interest has yet to be investigated. Since this is exactly what we're interested in, we've been presented with quite an interesting engineering problem. Once we understood the hot wire method, we were able to turn the problem into more manageable subproblem, building the experimental apparatus, building the circuitry, and analyzing the data. A solution of the apparatus design began in finding hot wire techniques for various materials that have properties among those of our substances of interest. We created drafts that merge aspects of these designs, and after several iterations of design and redesign, considering function and manufacturability, came up with a final test cell design of machined parts modeled in SolidWorks and existing manufactured parts. We sourced every component to make sure production is possible, and with these materials, we will then build the experimental apparatus. Also in progress is an electrical circuit that interfaces our apparatus with a data acquisition system. In order to make sense of these measurements, we've created a lab view program that calculates thermal conductivity from the experimental data. Given measurement data and all other experimental parameters, the program converts and plots the data, then allows us to manually select the range of data that we're interested in, and finally calculates thermal conductivity. In order to better mimic real-world measurements, we've also generated noisy data through MATLAB and implemented a function to filter out this noise. The program and experimental apparatus together will not only let us determine unknown material properties, but also add to an application gap of the transient hot wire technique, extreme high temperature region of electrically conducting materials. This project is ongoing, and we aim to continue working on it with our graduate student mentor Lewis and professors Marconet and Poulpoint at Zucro Labs this fall. It's been a pleasure as undergrads to contribute to both the development of hot wire techniques and to the characterization of thermodynamic properties, and ultimately to add our humble bit to the sum of all human knowledge in the world.